Hello everyone, this is Yannick and you are, are watching MA Student Life, Medical Assistant Life. And um, I did get a few subscriptions, so I'll go ahead and continue uploading this. And this is an update of my externship. I started uh, last Wednesday, today is Saturday. And uh, June 30th, I started my externship in the uh, pedi pediatrics facility. And it's been um, an adventure. Uh, basically, just to give you guys an update, uh, my first day I got there in the morning and then they assigned me a preceptor. Uh, they went over there. Um, well, we had an orientation uh, the week prior, but they just went over, they summarized, and then we spoke to um, the uh, supervisor there, the medical assistant supervisor. They gave us our, um, our, our name tags and then um, also the uh, schedule for the vaccines that we need to memorize as well. So that was the first day. And then the second day is when I started doing uh, sick patients. And, um, uh, the, and the reason why is because sick patients are a lot faster to bring in because we have to check their temperature and their, um, uh, their temperature and their weight. And then from there, the pharmacy and the reason why they're there and then also we need to verify uh, the, um, uh, their medications and allergies. So that's um, that's a sick patient. And then uh, I think this week uh, coming up, um, we're gonna I'm gonna be doing the well patient, the well check patients, which it's a lot more to uh, go into that because go into because we have to check their temperature, their weight, their blood pressure, and then their pulse. And then we also have to check um, the, the medication allergies, the pharmacy, and then um, and then input that in the computer and then uh, provide it to uh, the doctor. And then once that's done, uh, one, uh, once after the check, the doctor checks on them and then if they are due for their vaccines, then we have to administer their vaccines. But that's for the well-checked patients. But for now, uh, I was I was doing the sick patients and um and other than that uh, the day went by so fast uh because the doctor is seeing the patients every i want to say every 15 minutes it's like one after one and then um, and then we get our lunch so yeah so that's an update of what's going on uh and um honestly it, it was a lot it was easy for me uh to learn everything because uh i my background is administration so I've been doing administration for more than 20 years and uh, basically that's what it is we're administer uh, we're filing everything in the computer and then uh, the only difference is that we have to deal with um, uh, with patients with other people um, but um, but other than that I think I got it uh, this weekend I am learning my vaccine schedule because uh, probably next week or the following week we uh they are they are going to let me do administer the um the vaccine uh, things that i did by mistake uh the preceptor did let me do a blood pressure on uh on a i think he was like 11 or 12. uh the only mistake i did was uh, a big mistake was not put gloves. So I was so excited to do it that I grabbed the uh, the cuff and then and then um, went right ahead to do the blood pressure. Uh, the uh, cu the the cuff didn't the ha the cuff didn't work, so I wasn't able to get the blood pressure right. I forgot to put gloves, so that was my <laughs> first experience of taking the blood pressure from. Um, an 11 year old and um, and then the second one uh, it was a, a girl I think she was 13 year old and right as I was going to um, do the blood pressure the mom's like oh is it okay we don't have a student here so I had to step out uh, the door and that's perfectly fine um, because they do have the option um, for them not to have a student or not. So I didn't feel bad, um, but I kind of was excited to take the blood pressure, but because of that, I had to step out uh, the um, the room. And um, 
and yeah and basically i'll be seeing that if they don't want a student in the room it's perfectly fine i just step out but um but yeah i'll be doing that for the next um i already did 30 days uh you yeah, already did three days uh it is a 30 day program so 27 more days uh to go so yeah that was an update on the um externship and the uh, pediatrician pediatrics facility and uh, we do from newborns all the way to um, 18 year olds and um i think i got the hang of it i do have to um get uh get used to it uh, with my um people skills because i'm so used to being on the phone on the headset now i have to see them face to face so i gotta get used to the people's skills um but other than that i am getting the hang of it and it's really excited to um learn all this um medical assistant and um i'm hoping uh i do get a part-time job as a medical assistant if not then i'm um i will be trying to figure out what i'm going to be doing because I still don't know if, uh, if I'm going to start nursing school on September 1st because I am on the wait list. If not, um, I did sign up for the May 1st of next year, uh, but I do have, I am on the wait list to probably start on September 1st. So that I do not know. And I'm a little, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit tired. It's around uh, nine o'clock and um, I've been... Um, studying for the uh, vaccines and I'm a little bit tired but I wanted to give you guys an update on what I've been doing and probably next Saturday I will give you an update of that uh, of the whole week um, of what's been going on and I will probably do a, a day in the life of medical assistant extern student probably in the third week I don't know yet or maybe on the last week when I'm doing everything by myself uh, for HIPAA reasons, I'm not going to be able to record, but I will probably tell you what um, what I've been doing those days. Well, thank you for watching, and I uh, will see you guys next week. Take care.